Well, before I begin discussing about the uh, solutions for worksheet number three, let me tell you uh, the question that I have answered for uh, worksheet uh, two, question number five, where I said uh, air instruments. Well, during discussions, I have uh, actually mentioned that as wind instrument. There is no problem. The same answer, if you write wind instrument, that would be more preferable. Let's begin with the discussion of worksheet number three, right? The first question that appears is what is the audible range of frequency of sound for human beings? Well, when I say the audible range of frequency, there are a variety of sounds that we, you know, come across, but we cannot hear all the sounds from in the environment. So the range of sound which we can actually hear lies between 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. So the, if the answer for this question you were asked, it is 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz is the audible range of frequency. What name is given to reflection of sound? Well, the reflection of sound, just like light, sound also reflects from hard surfaces. And this is given a name called echo, E-C-H-O. Echo is the reflection of the sound that we hear, you know, when the original sound ceases to exist. Sounds of frequency lower than 20 hertz is known as dash. This is a fill in the blanks. Anything which is below 20 hertz is known as infrasonic sounds. And the next one, what is the name given to the sounds whose frequency is more than 20 hertz? More than 20,000 hertz is known as ultrasounds. Well, this is uh, a range of frequency of sound which uh, you know, normal human being like us, me and you, we cannot hear. Uh, there are certain you know, animals like ants, like bats, like dolphins, like dogs, they can hear a range of sounds which falls in this infrasonic and ultrasonic range, right? For more details, please refer to the lecture that I have uh, given. Uh, give to uses of ultrasound. Well, they have variety of uses. The first use that comes to my mind is, again, please uh, do not limit yourself to this only. The things that I'm discussing, you can write answers which are beyond this. You are, uh, you know, you, you, you should be exploring yourself. I'm just giving you a uh, hint of the answer. The uh, uses of ultrasound, that first thing that comes to my mind is, of course, about uh, ultrasonography, which is used in medical science where uh, you know uh, what is going inside your body doctors come to know about that by uh, sending sound signals and when they receive it back they see it on the monitor and they know this is the uh, this is the thing that is going around this is the defect and this is what i need to mend in the people the next one that comes to my mind is uh, detecting the flaws in metals when uh, there are various metals which are used for making bridges or uh, you know buildings now if there is a flaw in that that might be creating problem in the future the strength of the material uh, might degrade so uh, ultrasonic sound is used for that as well it is also used for breaking kidney stones right uh, in industry there are various uh, various uh, places you know, uh, in an instrument which are hard to reach because they are very twisted and you know, turned. So by sending signals, you can actually clean those parts of machines. Some of the examples. Again, I say you are not limiting yourself. You can always go beyond this. How do bats catches its prey? When I say how bats, bats catches its spray, uh, I need to tell you that uh, they, they you know, can hear ultrasonic sounds. So this quick, they, they sound sound signals, they go hit a surface and comes back. When it comes back, they have very powerful ears, very sensitive ears. So by hearing that, they know that whether there is a prey in front of them or there is an obstruction. Suppose there is an obstruction, it deviates. But if there is a prey, it attacks that. So this is how uh, actually a bat catches its prey. What is the full form of sonar? Sonar is the abbreviated from the acronym is sonar, means S-O-N-A-R. S stands for sound, S-O-N, that stands for sound, navigation, and ranging. 
एस ओ एन ए आर साउंड नेविगेशन एंड रेंजिंग 